All right, man. Aaron, Aaron Rodgers pulled the old uh, reverse card on Pat McAfee. Yeah. Saying that Rodgers said the Packers are the ones dragging their feet on the trade and not him. Yeah. Sorry about that. That's all right. Uh, now there are rumblings that this trade may be drawn out even further as both teams believe they're the ones with the leverage. Yeah. The whole world now thinks Rodgers is his jet. So wouldn't it be really funny if this ended up falling through the cracks at this point? All right. So it's not going to fall through the cracks, but there is a legitimate question about when this happens. So we can talk about that in a second. First, I want to talk about Rogers' actual interview. So Rogers clearly tried to make the case that the Packers, for lack of a better term, owe it to him to just move on. They, He said, I'm the longest tenured Packer ever. I'm arguably the greatest Packer in team history. Go ahead. They owe it to him, though. Like that they owe it to him to just, just take, let him go to take whatever the Jets are offering and move on after the huge contract he just requested the previous year. Exactly right. <laughs> so there was. At first, let me say this because I said it on TV. I believe Aaron Rodgers when he said he told them on Friday he wanted to be a Jet, and so I should apologize for criticizing him for dragging this out into free agency because it does not look like he did that. Free agency opened Monday, essentially. He told them Friday. I believe him on that. I do not believe him when he says when he went into the darkness, he was 90% retired, 10% coming back. That's not credible to me. (laughs) And Broussard made a really good point on TV, which was he claimed when he went into the darkness, He was 90% retired, 10% coming back a Packer, only wanted to play for the Packers, came out of the darkness, found out the Packers didn't want him. Well, if that's the case, then you just retire. If you were leaning 90% retirement or just play with the Packers, you then find out the Packers don't want you. It doesn't make a lot of sense that you're like, okay, now I'll just go play for the Jets. So I don't believe him on that. I the he can be upset if he wants. It's $60 million guaranteed to him. Sorry about that. If it's $60 million guaranteed to him, if he plays this year, I don't think he was ever retiring. Go ahead. So you're, you're saying that you think there might be some false, like he went in there thinking that he was probably going to try to play for another team. I think he went in there thinking he was going to play. And this idea that he was blindsided that the Packers were ready to move on when December 26th, Mark Schlereth told me on TV, the Packers were ready to move on. There have been at the NFL combat, there have been rumblings for weeks. The Packers are ready to move on. It seems odd that Rodgers would be the last to know about something like that. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts or just click the link in the description below.